All across Europe, men and women dressed in orange risk serious injury to their dogs and themselves in the name of animal welfare. And we have come to Sweden to film some of the best. Wild boar have only been in this country for a generation, and in that time the hunters have developed their own hunting style, learned new skills, and adapted old ones to hunt them, track them, and dispatch them. So although Roy's here on a driven hunt as a guest of Aimpoint, he's just the eye candy. <laughs> We've come to Tito Castle Estate to see the guys backstage. The game makers, those that make sure it all goes smoothly, and if it doesn't, they have the skills to do the follow-up. Thank you. We're back in Sweden again, and it's turning out to be one of my favourite countries. It is just fabulous out here. We really want to sort of go behind the scenes and, and get down and dirty and have an in-depth look at exactly what's going on, and hopefully over the next three days, that's exactly what we're going to see. Are we going to find lots of biggies? Yes. They've had a, a quick evolution and I think they've had a, a fresh look at doing things. Everything has got to be reported at the, the end of each drive and then if, if there is a wounded animal then obviously the dedicated tracking team is going to be straight onto it. There are some big names here. Leif Fredriksson is a boar shooting legend in Sweden. This firefighter has probably shot more Swedish wild boar than anyone else. A very close second would be Robert Gidesho. He manages this lovely estate in central Sweden with help from his son-in-law, Johan. Between the two of you, you and Leif have shot some boar in your time. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's the number one hunting for us is the boar hunting. So Why is it? Why is it? You know, you have a lot of action and they're clever animals and uh, you have a lot of them on some places. And nice meat and everything too. So, yeah, so we see now. Today Roy will wait for the wildlife to come to him, but things will change tomorrow when we head across to Boar Island. It's a place where Aimpoint Vikings live. Welcome to my island! <laughs> These reed beds and marshland are infested with them. The runs and races of Boar City are clear from the sky. This is where the follow-up guys take reaction shooting to a different level. That was seriously exciting. We literally had the pigs bedded down six feet away from us when they bolted. And they've just gone out to far side now and somebody's got a shot to <laughs> shake a little bit. <laughs> Back to the driven day and Roy, with Jason Doyle on camera and the rest of the guns, are on their stands. Yeah, so we have one single uh, moose female to shoot as well in this, in this beat. You've never seen a moose in the wild before, so that's quite exciting, just the, the thought of even seeing one alone squeezing the trigger. Just David is with Johan. His dog would traditionally be used as a oh, bird dog. What breed is she? Uh, Norrbotten Spets in Swedish. Trained to uh, go after uh, wild boars and moose and yeah, like that. She would hold them or chase them? Wild boar she holds and chases, and the other ones she just chases away. Of course, the vests are crucial. Contact is inevitable. Done. Have you lost dogs to wild boar? No. Not, not we, but two years ago, Sheila got hurt by a wild boar. And the same hunt, it was another dog. It was from, I think it was from the, from the knee on the dog up and then up to maybe here. It was a whole injury, so. That was expensive. Meet the passet, eller? Big black wild boar. Then we get some action.
So you've shot that one because? Because the dog was working quite good and came fast. And the... Was it injured or was that just one opportunity for you? No, just an opportunity. So good, good dog work. Do you enjoy your bull hunting? Yeah, it's nice. Fast moving, but short distance, quick shooting, so it was good. On the other side of the forest, Roy's neighbour has shot a moose. There was one tag left for this season and so the guys are happy. So is Roy, he's never seen one in the flesh before. Just the colossal size of them, you don't realise they are big, big creatures. I can't believe the size of the feet on it. My first time seeing one on the deck like that, but uh, yeah, they are monsters. I think the guys are waiting to, to get Gralith done and um, try and get her back. But rather them than me extracting her out of here. It is, uh, that's gonna be a, a serious job getting her out. You know. Did you do well? Did you do well? You haven't worked yet. Nobody's volunteering to take it out on their shoulders, so what the guys are doing is they've, uh, they've got the tape with a bit of um, reflective tape woven into it, and then they're hanging that on the trees, and so the animal will be recovered a little bit later on, but obviously out here it gets dark so quickly that may be um, after nightfall, so um, at least that way, if they're shining a torch around, they get to see the reflection coming back and uh, the guys that are coming to, to pick the animal up can uh, retrieve it quickly. Superb. This isn't a big bag day. The estate is carefully managed and Roy spots that the animals soon return to their territories once the drive is finished. After lunch, we join Frederick, Johan's cousin, and Robert's nephew. Radios and Garmin's are vital to keep the day running smoothly. His dog, Tuva, heads off on a trail, and all we can do is watch and wait. They shot a fox down here now. We're on a fox. And they shot on a wild boar too, but I think it's not down yet. We're closest, so Bye -bye. need to deal with it. No, oh, it's not dead. Yeah. Hey! Justin! Stop! Stop! The racket! Nej! Ut! Trasse, kom! Ut! Kom igen! Ut! Vad? Det är den normala sättet att göra det. Jag kan göra det så långt som möjligt när du har dagar så långt som möjligt. Ja. Jag måste se till dagar, inte runt om pigarna. Och sen har jag skjutit genom de pigarna och sedan ner till grunden så att dagarna inte blir hört. Jag är mitt inne i skiten, hundarna här i närheten någonstans. Men jag hittar dem, för att ta på dem så kopplar jag det. Yeah. 
Ah, here we have a nice pig. He had to shot this little big two back. Yeah, it's dead now. So that's good. Good work with these two. Come on, Flash. Yeah, come on. Dogs are vital, aren't they? Yeah. This is why the guys are here, to get stuck in and make sure any injured animals are dispatched quickly and cleanly. The castle grounds provide a striking setting to celebrate the game. Sheila, 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 Sheila. Everyone has done their job and there's one oh. job left to do. Sheila, Sheila. <laughs> 50 meters. Oh, the pig was on there. <laughs> the dogs are still with Ball. Naif walks through the forest to try and intercept the path of his moose hound plus Ball. Shooting after dark is not something they want to do, but sometimes a situation like this needs to be taken in hand. Okay, we um, we saw on the GPS that the dog was coming back, so we actually stand stand tall, uh, waiting for the wild boar to come back. Uh, wounded one, and uh, we wanted to finish that. The dog wouldn't let it loose, so we need to finish it. Um, it came right in our lap, together with the aim point and some light. Of course, it was a quick shot. It was came came running and. Uh, Managed to get a good shot on it, and now it's down, and we can uh, go for dinner. With the both eyes open, you see what's going on. Especially, you can see where the dog is uh, when it's chasing the the, the animal. Uh, if you don't know where the dog is, you will not take the shot. We just had a, a bit of a, um, a boat trip over to what has been described as the Jurassic Park of Boar Islands. Apparently there's a lot of pigs on here and we've got a, a lot of long tall grass to do. David's been having nightmares for the last couple of nights, thinks that there's velociraptors running around out there with the pigs as well. He's even got his boar proof trousers on so uh, Chevalier have um, even supplied him with a set with um, Kevlar lining in there because um, he, was, he was I think he was a little bit concerned that he might not be able to spawn any more children. So uh, not that he needs any more, he's already done that pit. How do the pigs get here? Stay, stay on message, please. How do they get here? <laughs> no, apparently the pigs swam over from the mainland about five years ago. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I can imagine it's a, a very, very different scene come the winter when, uh, when it all freezes over and then 
everything can migrate quite easily, but again, the boars boar are incredibly good swimmers as well, so it's not very difficult for them to get over here and uh, make a new home for themselves. If you see a big one with the brown ones behind, we shoot. We always start to shoot the brown ones. Yeah, and if you come lonely black ones, and and we see it's a big female, we let it be. Right. But I don't hang anyone if we shoot the female because right. this is the time in the year we can do it. Uh, I think the plan is that me and Leif is going with the dogs. Yeah, and you're putting David at the, the front of the high grass, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in front of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, the new pants. 100%. I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> This place is being torn apart by pigs because it's so tough to get on top of them. Robert and Leif will take the lead. Jason volunteers to follow Leif. Aimpoint has adapted their micro H2 rifle sights just for him because of his pretty unique hunting style. Leif came to us with a request. He loves the weapon, he loves our optics since, since uh, many years and been using it a lot. He, uh, but the request was that he wanted a bigger dot. A bigger, bigger dot, you, you find it quicker, you can bring it faster on the target and you don't have to think that much, uh, it would be quicker. So how long is he going to carry on doing this? Does he need uh, the adrenaline? Is it uh, something he's going to do for 30 years? How long is he going to <laughs> det är så länge kroppen håller med. Se se ju då hur hur jag halt omkring så att ja, man har ju en viss uh, triggning på just vilsvinsjakt ja, ja. så. Ja. As long as the body holds up. I mean he see the, it, it gets his blood pumping. Good, 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 good. Woo! Ah, <laughs> duktig, duktig, duktig. Big. Ah, uh, it's seven, eight centimeters out. Leif carries on while Johan comes to collect. It's a massive Kyla. That's really nice. And this was charging Leif? Yeah. He shot Not it enough. in one meter. So. I should. I would be scared too if I was late. If this was running at me. Shit. 
On the other side of the marsh, Leif is on some smaller boar. Then it's Robert's turn. The first one was a good hit. Shot number two was lifted over. It's down. We're going to check. Thank you. Sako. <laughs> Always make the. <laughs> Thank you for the help. You seen? <laughs> I didn't see it. I was looking too much to the right. Good job. Good job, my old lady. Yeah. She, she left this group and followed another one, yeah? Yeah, she was. This, this one was get off the high grass, and so she, she has been down there for 300 meters and standing still with that one. But now it wants to go back to the high grass and exactly in our knees. Oh, we put in Hannah. Uh, yeah, we have more. Come, Sheila, come, 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 come on. This is four out. <laughs> Up. Yeah. It's his job at the moment. His job is, yeah, if he gets some chance to shoot, he do it. But it's not easy inside that high grass, so... Yeah, he go around and smell, smell human beings now, so maybe we get the pigs out and help the dogs a little bit, so they get tougher. He's encouraging them. No, but you know, they know that he's, he's there, so, you know, they're a little bit, little more on, so I think they hope he's going to shoot now. He used to shoot out in that high grass, so, you see, maybe... Roy is about 500 meters away on a bank above us. It looks like he's going to blank on this trip, then... Oh man, oh, gee whiz, that was mad. I just, all of a sudden, I just saw something moving down through the bottom of the wood, and then all of a sudden he came through here. First shot, I'm not sure if I hit or not, and second shot, we just bowled him straight over down there. Oh, I was absolutely frozen, I thought that was it, all that came over. The sun was pretty much set, and then all of a sudden it happened. Phenomenal. Oh man! Thank you, mate. Oh, too bad. And the, the red dot was okay in this dim light? Yeah, superb. I mean, it just shone out. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, hi guys. Pig down. Absolutely over the moon with that, as I say. We just saw movement just in the back. And then all of a sudden, you just saw him come barreling down towards us. And the first shot, I pulled through just a little bit more than I thought should have done. So I was just on the eye, and I think I just shot in front, and then reloaded on for the second shot, um, and bowled him over absolutely perfectly, so over the moon with that. I should have had him on the first shot, but I'm putting cold hands down to uh, that one. Cold hands and cold brain, I think it's completely frozen me through, but that is just a beautiful, beautiful pig. Come on, right, give it some <laughs> Again, again, I'm, I'm amazed. I thought it was a lot stronger than that. Yeah. 
Yeah, receiving, over. Back at the cottage, we ask Leif to talk us through the shot of the weekend. Ja, vad som hände? Mitt, min hund stod Chili ute i vassen. Chili here was standing and barking on the on the this big boar, but uh, Leif he couldn't see it, he, and uh, and he was just some meters from it. And then uh, he did some attack, and uh, he was running close to Leif just for for some meters and he oh. take take the shot for a distance of one meter or something like that. And uh, here we have him. So it was a lot of action in the high grass there for <laughs> Leif. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> is, it, yeah. is it one shot, two shot? Where did the first shot go? W one shot is uh, take uh, here. And, uh, the first, the first, the yeah. first shot, yeah. 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 And it was down. Down. And the second and one in the head. second uh, in, the, in, in the head. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you find? Do you still get excited by these things, Leif? <laughs> Beautiful for no pets, Alex. <laughs> yeah, alltid lika. Det är lika roligt att skjuta för hundarna. Det, yeah. det är uh, nummer ett. Formel ett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's yeah. Num number one. Yeah. And uh, when when you do hunt like this for the, with the dogs, you know, it's number one. Yeah. It's like like Leif said. It's Formula One in hunting. Yeah. Is it a drug for him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good drug. <laughs> it's been quite a trip. Once again, Aimpoint has introduced us to some amazing hunters and hunting areas. For more information about Aimpoint, go to aimpoint.com.